I just finished my 37th season at, at Duke University and forever grateful uh, for the opportunity to coach at this great university because it's afforded me the opportunity to recruit really special young men, not just basketball players, but really good guys. The picture here with Gerald Henderson and John Shire is one of my favorites because it's really what I want every young man who plays for me to experience, and that is the feeling of brotherhood. That would be the caption for this, and really G and John are like brothers. They form the brotherhood, and really that's something our former players now have shirts that say the brotherhood. We share it, so the guys from the 80s, 90s, the 2000s, the guys from the last five years, they're all one big family. That's the feeling that we want every guy who plays for us to have, the feeling of family. Bowls his way to the bucket and was fouled. Marshall Plumley is averaging about 10 rebounds a game in ACC play, over four of them on the offensive end. And he is an excellent chest bumper. That looks like it's painful. You always try to be emotional when you play. I feel like I play my best when you play with emotion. But uh, there, there's some of it you can't force. Some of it, it, it happens when you're all fighting together. And that was a game where I thought we were all fighting, and it, it was a dog fight. And by us all fighting together, I just felt my emotions rise. Uh, that was a huge play for me and for the team. And when you all come together to do something like that, and you just see an explosion like that. And that's, that's what happened there, and uh, one of my favorite memories in Canada. Giles from Allen! A 20-point swing here in the second half. I just remember the moment, just because, you know, how big it was. And, you know, not because it was me personally, just because the time of the game, you know, with Emil uh, in foul trouble, along with Jason in foul trouble. So, you know, we needed somebody to come in, you know, step up big, check the, the glass, and, the, you know, just play big. So, you know, for me, just coming in, I just wanted to go in and, uh, just, you know, like the spark, when I just locked in on defense, uh, you know, ran the floor, uh, Grayson rewarded me. Watching the bench go crazy, like, just because, you know, I think they just know the moment it was and just, you know, the time of the game. You know, at the same time, uh, you know, you kind of see how they, you know, they felt for me too, just because, you know, they know it was been a long season too. So, you know, it was a great moment. It was fun, you know, and it helped us, you know, go on and win. With a chance to take the lead. Cook. Got it! What a big time shot by Quinn Cook. You know, it was a tie game. You know, our backs were against the wall. We only had eight guys at the time. You know, we made a run at the end. Jaleel, you know, was so selfless, so unselfish. He wanted to win, didn't care how many points he had. And, you know, he saw a double come. He trusted me, you know, to hit the shot. You know, I hit the shot. And the first thing I remember, the crowd went quiet, but Jaleel just, I remember his reaction. So when I hit the shot, I just looked at Jaleel. And he acted like he made the shot. He, he was as happy as I was. And that was our team. And our mindset was next stop, next play, let's get a stop. And that was our mindset the whole year. And that game, that you know, second half really changed our whole temperament of the season and you know, led us to win the national championship.